So this might look like a regular matrix equation, but it's actually very interesting. The goal is to find x and y so that this matrix, 2x negative 3y, if we will square that, we end up with the zeros matrix, which is just 0, 0, 0, 0. The interesting part for this is that if this is possible, then we will have a non-zero matrix because we already have 2 and negative 3 here, so it's non-zero. Square that, we end up with a zeros matrix. Huh, okay. By the way, the answer is not just zero here, zero here. It's not going to work. Well, let's do it together. Firstly, when we square a matrix, of course, this means that we just have to multiply this by itself. I will just write down here we have 2, negative 3, and then x, y like this, and then multiply by itself. 2x, negative 3, and y. And to multiply matrix, remember we do the dot product of a row with a column. So firstly, we will have 2 times 2, which is 4. And then we do x times negative 3, which is negative 3x. And then just continue. 2 times x plus x times y. And then negative 3 times 2, which is negative 6. And then y times negative 3. So minus 3y, and then lastly, negative 3 times x, and then y times y, so that's plus y squared. So this is what happens when we square this matrix. Now we just have to make sure that all the entries are equal to 0, so we are going to have these four conditions. Firstly, our condition is that 4 minus 3x has to be equal to 0, and then next I will just put this down. 2x plus xy has to be equal to 0. And then negative 6 minus 3y, it's equal to 0. And then lastly, negative 3x plus y squared is equal to 0. And then let's solve the easy equations first. From number 1, if you move the 3x to the other side and then divide both sides by 3, then we must have x is equal to positive 4 over 3. And then from equation number 3, again, do the usual thing. You will see that y has to be negative 2. All right, so we got the x and y, but we also have to make sure that these two values satisfy equation 2 and equation 4. So I'm just going to be plugging them in and check. So have a look. This right here will give us 2 times 4 over 3, and then plus x times y, which is 4 over 3 times negative 2. Do we get 0? Let's have a look. This is 8 over 3. This is negative 8 over 3. Together, of course, we get 0, so it checks. And then lastly, we also have to check, plugging this into there, we have negative 3x plus y squared. That's just negative 4, and this is positive 4. Do we get 0? Yes. So as you can see, x and y will make all this work. So it's possible. I'll just write this down for you guys. Answer. x is equal to 4 over 3, and y is equal to negative 2. Aha! Have a look. When we square a matrix, if we end up with 0, the matrix itself does not have to be the zeros matrix, which is very, very interesting. And if you want to see how to find out all possible such matrix like this, check out this video right here.